Number 12. Proof by induction. Prove this proposition here is true. It says for all positive integers. Well, I could have written z plus i. I'll just stick with n because the natural numbers are the positive integers. And this constant a is some number greater than 0. Well, the first step would be check that it's true for the very first of these, the first positive integer, the first natural number. Check it for n equals 1. Is this greater than or equal to in that case? Well, I'll take the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Left-hand side would be this. 1 plus a to the power 1. That's 1 plus a. And the right-hand side would be that part, 1 plus 1 times a, which is again 1 plus a. So quite unsatisfyingly, you can state the left-hand side is indeed equal to the right-hand side. Well, you couldn't expect to get both of these proved in the one statement. So strictly speaking, it is true for n equals 1, in the sense that they were equal. So true for n equals 1. Now we've got that part, then we're going to do this. We're going to assume it's true at some arbitrary number, n equals k. Not saying it is true, just saying, what if it were true there? Assume it's true n equals k, and we put down this inductive hypothesis. It's an hypothesis just now. It's an unproved statement. So what have we got? n equals k means simply replace n with k. So I've got 1 plus a to the k is greater than 1 plus k a. There, there's my inductive hypothesis. And what I'm going to say is this. If I was to consider the next term, if I was to consider n equals k plus 1, then using this, will that produce a statement for the next step which is true? Will it provide a link from one number to the next number? Because if it is, then you're cooking with gas. Or, I would actually prefer to have an inductive hob. So, what is there then? Well, that means I've got 1 plus a to the k plus 1. Let's replace it with that. Now, I'm not going to put this side in. I'm just going to play around with this term and see what I get. Well, that is equal to 1 plus a times 1 plus a to the k, whoops, to the k. That's the first thing you normally do, as soon as you see a power k plus 1, you think, well, I can split that, because obviously I'm wanting to split it, because I want to create a power k again. I want to construct this inductive hypothesis, I could call that one, so that I can then deploy it within it, which is what I'll do just now. So I can say, well, if this is equal to that, then it's going to be greater than or equal to 1 plus a times replacing this part, because this part is greater than or equal to this. 1 plus k a. Now, I can't write greater than or equal to again, because I want to play around with this expression. So at the side, I'm going to put down what this is actually equal to. But then again, that will obviously be greater than or equal to this, or anything it produces. So multiplying that out, I've got a 1 plus an a plus a k a plus a k a squared. I'll tidy that up again. I've got a 1 plus a k plus 1a plus k a squared. Which means that this is greater than or equal to this part here. Now I can put this part down. So this will now be greater than or equal to this part. That's greater than or equal to 1 plus just k plus 1a. And of course, that was the required result. I could have put that down earlier. I'm looking for this to be the same as this with n replaced by k plus 1. And I've got it. If it's greater than this, then it's certainly greater than that because this had this extra part, k a squared. So it's greater than that since, I can maybe have put that step down a bit, since k a squared is a number greater than 0. And that's the required result. Which means I've got... The required result for n equals k plus 1. So, if it were true at n equals k, it's turned out to be true at k plus 1. So you can now make that statement. True for n equals k meant it was in fact true for n equals k plus 1. And then, since it was true at the start, since it was true for n equals 1, that means by induction... Yes, well, putting that in, it's true for all n, where n was, and I'll just state the original, it said positive integers.